Greetings. It's Lisa. How are you? Yeah, welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. It's so good to be together, isn't it? Well, today is a day for understanding what evoking, embracing, and evolving is all about. Hello, Becky. So what does 3E stand for? The day that I created 3E, it was because it meant something. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bring you and show you something. This is 3E. It shines. It's beautiful. So when I look at 3E, it is about the number 3 and the E. Connected at the bottom, but not from the top. So when we talk about evoking, evoking the past, evoking what was, it's because a part of our history so much of what we have incorporated in our conscious level and so much of what is in our life consciously, subconsciously, it is incorporated because of everything that we have looked and learned and, le uh, and listened. Because that's what the subconscious mind does. From the time that we were a little girl and a little boy, everything has been captured in our mind and put into our subconscious mind where it stores all the information. So when we want to change any habit, when I work with my clients, is first to find out if there is any ritual connected to their habits. So many of us do so many things because of rituals, either from grandparents, parents, or from the time that we were kids in school. Those rituals are the connections to the past with feelings, just like memories. We capture memories, and if there is a feeling to it, we will remember it. So rituals are the patterns that help our habits remain and it becomes a part of our behavior. Rituals are always a good thing, but not every good thing works for you now. For example, if a client comes in for stop smoking, I want to know the ritual, when they smoke, how they smoke, why they smoke, and why is it that they want to stop smoking. The same thing goes with weight or anything else, any pattern that we want to break. Because patterns, when we start going back in time into our subconscious mind, we realize that patterns were created because there is a feeling connected, but for a reason. So in order to break a pattern, sometimes it's, it's not easy. Why? Because it's dissing the feeling that we instilled in the pattern. And if it was good then, why do we want to break that good feeling in order to change it and make it worse? For that, we have to go back and change the ritual. It's evoking what was. And by evoking is the aha moment. It's the light bulb that it's always there, but the light is not on. So once we turn the light on and we evoke it, we go, ah, now I get it. Now I can make a change. Second part is embracing. Embracing 
not only who we are, embracing our feminine energy because we have both masculine and feminine, and embracing who we are today. We are now the authority as an adult. If I'm talking to adults and something, the same thing goes for children, and children have their own patterns and everything that we want to break. So, as an adult, we want to take responsibility for the rituals of the past and decide to create a new pattern, a new ritual, a new form of whatever it is we want to achieve. Now, our masculine and feminine energy, it, just because we have one higher than the other, it does not mean that we are not sensitive or we are very harsh. And that's the part that we embrace, all of us, all parts of who we are. The good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the up and down, and go from there. Then we evolve to the last E, which is evolving. Evolving is transforming, is saying, okay, now that I acknowledged it, now that I take responsibility, what do I want to do with it? I want to make that change. And that's the change the part of the transformation that it's the client, it's you that chooses to change to. When we say people transform, if you come in for our event or when you come in to, uh, for therapy, hypnotherapy, come in for the transformation, not everyone transforms immediately. And yet, there are clients. We are human beings. And yes, once we get the aha uh -huh and we embrace who we are, we can transform. Make that transformation and say, yes, today is the day that I let it go. Today is the day that I no longer choose to keep this pattern, behavior, ritual, whatever. So we evolve spiritually, we evolve physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever it is that we want to make the change in. Does that make sense? So, on March 11th, I am putting together, we are having our fifth annual 3E event happening in Glendale at the Embassy Suites. It is right for women and it's a day of celebrating celebrating international women's week we say that but it's truly igniting the best in us and why did i choose that title it's not that you are not good it's not that you are not at your best but if there is anything we come together to that beautiful tribal of womanhood, togetherness. There is going to be unveiling, understanding who we are to tap into our own lineage, our own womanhood, to unravel things that we no longer wish to keep or we have been holding on to labels, titles, and things that have been placed upon us or given to us. And it's okay, it's a day of celebrating who we are. It's not about man bashing, but it's celebrating. Celebrating. Hmm. I will also be doing a guided visualization and a talk significant talk so that if there are parts of your history that you are ready to let go and do a transformation on that one day yes you will and yes you can make the transformations plus we've got incredible speakers that are going to share their own challenges 
and realize that we all, in all walks of life, no matter who we are, what titles we possess, have gained, uh, CEO or CFO of a corporation, Fortune 500, or sitting in an office, or being a teller, it doesn't matter who we are and what we do, but we, who we are as a human, as you, because you matter. There's going to be networking, soulful exercises, healing, sharing, dance, music, and going through the drum circle that is to tap and awaken our own spirit so we can connect and open our heart. Open our heart to all possibilities in life. We all have a dream. We all have a desire. And so do you. So if you want to be a part of a connection, network, be inspired, find connections and collaboration with other like-minded women, a place that you can just let go and stand up and appear and show up for who you are. No judgment. Just you. This is going to be the place. And it's going to be incredible. Starting with the drum circle calling in all the spirits from the north and the south and the east and the west. It's like bringing all that energy. And we've got the day dedicated to you. So if you want more information, you can find it on Facebook, on my page, Lisa Bubari, or the 5th Annual 3E Event. More importantly, you can sign up and register. It's probably the most powerful $97, ladies, that you will spend. Full of goodie bags, gifts, lunch, to nourish your soul, nourish your body, our inspirational talks and healing exercises to nourish and love and pamper you and go home rejuvenated, relaxed, and reconnected to your true, authentic self. It's a great day to say, I want to spend a day with my friends and make new friends. Plus, we're going to have vendors that you can shop. And what woman does not like to pamper not only her outside, but the inside, her spirit and her body, and every part of you is going to say thank you to you. So to register, you can also go to my website, which is www.healwithin, and look for the events 2017, 3E 2017. And we're also on It's My Seat, or uh, on 3E event. You can find us in so many ways. So if you are ready to evoke, embrace, and evolve because you matter, find a possibility within you. Give yourself permission and allow yourself to step up and step forward 
and join us. And for that, I would like to take the next few moments and walk you through a few moments of guided visualization. Go ahead wherever you are. Make sure that you are safe. Make sure that you are a place that you can lean comfortably and close your eyes and do not be disturbed. And as I close my eyes, allow every nerve and every muscle, every organ in your body to relax. Take a nice deep breath, one more time. And exhale slowly and easily. And one more time, nice deep breath. And release. And with your eyes closed, connect from above, opening all your connection to your higher self. And everything else, let it drop to wherever you are, either standing or sitting, in your place where you are safe. And as you breathe in, bringing the oxygen and vitality inside your body through your nostrils, and as it goes to the back of your throat, down to your chest, allow that wave of relaxation to clear your chest. Your lungs expand. Your heart expands gently as your heart pumps oxygenated blood throughout your body, relaxing every nerve and every muscle, every cell, every organ, rejuvenating and healing if there is any pain and if there is any hurt in your body, may it heal. And as you are breathing in and out, thank every nerve and every muscle all the way down to the back of your neck, down your spine. every vertebrae down your back all the way down to your coccyx and around and back into your front from your chest opening your heart And if you have been shouldering any weight either given to you or placed upon you or you took it upon yourself, any physical, emotional, or mental weight and anguish, you can now drop it and let it go. And as you breathe, Allow that wave of relaxation to come down from your shoulders, down to your arms, into your hands, and out from the tip of each and every one of your fingers. Release all the tension. 
Let it go through each and every one of your fingers out, releasing it and letting it go. Drop it. And allow that wave of relaxation that started from the top of your head and came all the way down to your chest and from your arms down to come all the way down to your core, which is your core abdominal area where you digest life and digest food, nourishing everything that you eat and life. And as you bring more oxygen and vitality in there, be grateful for this life of yours and everyone in your life. And if there is anyone that you no longer wish to have connection or have any power over you, you become the authority. You become a better parent to yourself. You validate, accept, and appreciate all of you because you are now safe safe in your body safe right here safe no matter where you are you are protected you are shielded And allow the wave of relaxation to come all the way down to your sensuality. And be grateful for all that you feel and that you are. And allow that wave of relaxation that rotates and shifts your hip from side to side. Come all the way down to your thighs that have the biggest muscle in your body, that is truly the pillar in your legs that you stand on, that hold your upper body. All the way down to your feet. And no matter how tall or how short, how big or how small you are, you are perfect as you are. It is all the misperfections that makes you the perfect person that you are today. So embrace all of you. And from this day forward, every step that you take Imagine cobblestones that you step on. And from one to another, from one to another, you create your own pathways. And no matter if it is in a river, or if it is a lake, or if it is in the heat or the desert, no matter where you are in life, you step one step at a time moving forward in life. Have your history. Create your own story. So take the cobblestones. In your own mind, as you are moving forward, you can place a name, a desire, a dream, and move forward into the future as if if there is anything that you are now ready to move forward and let it go into your past place all those labels and the names on those cobblestones and as you step over them know that now you become the authority you step forward you step on you stand up And when you get to a place where, in your own mind's eye, you know that you are safe, stop. 
and realize all of your life has brought you to this very moment. And that's why you can cope, you can overcome, you can be the authority, you can heal, and you can transform because you matter. So say, I matter. I am. And let that be your mantra. So that as you feel inspired and empowered, you can be a source of motivation for another person in your life who looks up to you. I look forward to hugging you, embracing you, and be the source that guides you into embracing all of you and evolve to what you desire. I welcome you to 3E and hope to see most of you on March 11th. Until then, I bid you goodbye. See you next week.